So I am here today to film a back to school makeup look. Um, let's just get started. So I'm first going to be going in with this Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation in the shade Cream Beige. You know, I think I'm getting a little paler. Summer ends. And this is less of my color. But like, compared to my hand, I feel like it is. Sorry. Baby, I'm sorry. I'm not sorry. I'm just going to lightly put this up. Because if you do too hard, you're going to start going bald. And I'm not ready for that commitment. Um, so we're going to take our little... Sorry if I look extra red. I honestly don't understand why. I do. I should probably get like a color correcting primer. Is what I'm thinking. And I know I have little, I'm not going to say blemishes, but like. Uh, marks on my face. I did. Sorry, I'm trying not to cover the camera, but also. It's not the date I'm filming this. I know when I get my schedule. So that's going to be exciting. Or I know tomorrow. This probably won't go up. Well, it'll go up a little bit after I film it. I know it probably looks like I'm going in for a lot of foundation, but this is more me light to medium coverage. I always hate the way this feels at first because it's very dewy. Also it's irritating my beard region region region. Because I just shaved. Next, I'm going to go in with everything that just fell. Oh my god. Problematic. I'm going to go with my sharp. My sharp. Oh my god. My Tarte Shape Tape. Yeah, this is the light neutral. This is going to be too, tart, too dark, too. Coming up. Because I've never. I like how I just got this. And I'm like, it's going to be too dark. I was going to wait. It's lightly fragranced. And it is very full coverage. Like, there's still product in here. You can kind of see that it holds it. Uh, you probably couldn't even see that. It's not important. I'm not the first person to buy this. You get it. <laughs> if I could stop throwing products, that would be phenomenal. Back to school is quite the time. Comment down below what grade you guys are going into. I'm a senior. I have put in my time. Like, I'm like, this shade will be too light for me. And meanwhile, it's like already. Or it's going to be too dark. Meanwhile, it's like too light right now. I'm going to take my Cody Airspun Powder, and then this is in the shade Translucent. Tra Y'all, I need to go back to school because I can't speak. And I'm just going to quickly, really, let that sit under the eyes. The nice thing about this powder is, if I let this sit on my skin this whole time, it'll absorb in. Which can be really nice. But then I try to avoid looking cakey. If that makes sense. Okay, you know what? I'm going to set the rest of my face with this. I'm going to go in with this elf looking kabuki. You can see how red and irritating this is. I'm a mess. I told you black was a bad color. Okay, so now that we're mostly set. Oh. Sorry, I just get really sweaty easily. I'm a very warm person. So, 
doesn't look so extra, but I'm sure you're gonna a lot more water. Um, now that we have this set, I'm going to go into a contour shade. Oh, I could try this new also one I have. Um, it's in this cute little palette thing. I might. I can't tell if it's more warm toned or if it's. You know what? We're gonna bronze up the face with this. Oh, face brush with that one. Shout out to this powder for being way more of a contour shade than I had anticipated. I don't want to do a heavy contour because if I'm doing like a back to school type of thing, I'm not. Uh. <clears throat> Excuse me. I'm not, first of all, going to have time in my life. Like, if I can sleep with these colors to try to like... I don't know. Give that contour color. Because it says it's a contour kit, but I would like to use it as bronzer. Okay, so you're going to take it underneath your chin. Because we chitty and we don't want to have a chin. I'm going to take this blush in the e.l.f. duo, and it's called Fiji Matte. That's the name of this. I'm just going to take it on this brush. This is a blush brush, but I like it for... Contouring, because it has that harsher... You know what I mean, the harsher angle of the brush. Okay, see, I'm dusting with this powder right now. And it doesn't... I feel like I actually dust anything away, because it feels... I mean, not when I touch... Like, it doesn't feel or look cakey to me. So now that I've got this going on, I... For school, I would typically maybe, if I was going for like a full beat day, because I know time-wise, it's a little inconvenient to be like, okay, and now I want you to take this, and I want you to do a full beat with like a smoky eye. So if you want something that's more natural back to school and not heavy, because I know there's probably schools where you can't even wear a lot of makeup, or your parents are like, absolutely not. My child's not going to be going out with all that makeup. So I'm going to take this neutraler shade in my Morphe 35O palette. And it's, it's, to me it's like a cappuccino shade. And I'm just taking it on my, um, it's like a crease, it's probably not a crease brush. I use these brushes for my crease. It's just like a fluffy brush. You can prime your eyelids. I don't feel like it. Because realistically, I wouldn't for school in the morning. Now, this color, apparently, is far darker than I had anticipated. So now that you put it down, I'm going to take this fluffier. Does that help? Can you see what? It, this fluffier NYX brush. Brush number 12. And I'm not only gonna smoke it out into my eye crease, but I'm gonna smoke it out up towards my eyebrow. So it's a lot more subtle. And what this is gonna do is it's gonna, it, uh, what this is gonna do is it's gonna add a lot more depth to my eye and make it appear as though it is, you know, naturally more defined, if that makes sense. Okay, so now what you're going to do is you're going to take a brush that is more, um, like a pencil brush. Like something that's more tiny and defined. This is just what I grabbed. And I'm going to go in with this highlighter shade out of my man -eater palette. It's called Lace, I think. Um, and I'm going to pop this on my inner corner. Because even though I didn't do a lot, this in general... Just look how much that brightened up my eyes a little. You know what I mean? Like it just brightens them. I like the effect it gives. Like if you can only do some of these steps in the morning before you go to school, 
or work or wherever you're going. I think that, um, sorry, putting a color in your inner corner is going to not make a big difference, but it's going to make you look more awake, like awake, I guess. Like it makes you look more like, it brings more attention to your eyes, which is nice. Now I'm going to be doing my eyebrows. This is a hit or miss. It either goes so great sometimes or it goes so awful. Um, sometimes it's nice to go to see when you do them. Next, so I'm going to go with my brow stylist definer by Lori L in the shade Brunette. Okay, I'm sorry. I was in the middle of talking. But my memory card ran out of memory and I was like, why is my camera lens shut? I was saying that if you do your eyebrows after your foundation, you're going to notice that this spoolie, if you're too rough with it, will just sort of disturb product around it, so you might want to do your brows first, or just be very gentle. I'm not, so I just fixed it. The one final step I would do is highlighter. Um, again, a little bit of, like, a glisten is gonna go so far with a, not even, like, your morning routine, but in, like, Making you feel better, I guess. Like, if you gotta go to school and be miserable, at least dab on some highlighter. Alrighty, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. If you're miserable about going back to school, comment down. Let's be optimistic. Comment down below your the class you're looking forward to the most. Uh, mine would be art class or, like, any elective. Lunch doesn't count as a class, because you know me. I'd be excited about lunch. Um, if you did enjoy this video, Feel free to give it a thumbs up. Uh, comment down below something you'd like to see me try or review or anything of that of love. Um, and I'll see you guys next video. Bye.